Bonnie here and this is another laundry chat um, just trying to get through my day um, I'm working extra hours and I'm kind of exhausted um, at one point I actually passed out at one of my jobs because my body was like nope not doing this but for the most part I've been okay um, I just want to thank everyone who's shown me love and support. I just want to give you my gratitude because I've been, I've been, I haven't been in a dark place, but the situation with my ex-husband and the court date and everything, it's just, it's been stressing me out. I know it's been stressing the kids out. The kids love their dad so freaking much and they're worried about him and how he's going to go through life but to be honest he's a grown man with his own job and he's been using me as a personal ATM uh, because of the situation and I don't mind helping him out but at the same time he needs to help himself I can't keep sending him money so that he has a place to live he needs to figure that shit out himself and I just, I feel so bad because I've been blaming myself. Like this, he wouldn't be in this situation if I hadn't called the cops, but at the same time, I wouldn't have had to call the cops if he hadn't hit me. And I just, I don't know. My bosses have been awesome. I've had a couple days off and I've just, I'm trying to find, I've just been so exhausted that I haven't done anything like spiritual in the past month. Um, I've just been trying to get through life, get through the day, just get through. <laughs> are days that it's difficult days where I don't want to even get through the day but I remember that I have kids and I have people who rely on me and I'm just trying to find the magical in the mundane so the first things that I think of are my kids my kids show me love they know I'm stressed out they'll cuddle with me they'll tell me my they'll tell me that they love me um, and I remind them that this situation is not their fault this is between their dad and I um, and I think they understand that but they also put themselves like oh we want to do something more for mommy and daddy and it's it's heartbreaking because they're such wonderful gentle souls they don't show it to each other but I know they are <laughs> Yeah, the fighting has gotten worse. My house looks like a tornado blew through it. I'm not home enough to chastise them for not cleaning the house. I'm usually asleep when I am home because I'm I gotta go to work in the next four hours, that sort of thing. And it's just it's been stressful. times I feel like I don't know what I'm doing so I try to find the magical in the mundane and like I said my kids give me lots of magic gives me lots of love but you guys have also given me a lot of love too and I appreciate that so much gratitude for that because I don't know where I'd be um, my mom's coming to visit I'm really excited so if you have any questions for my mom let me know. I know Abby the, the witch asked a question that I'm going to ask. But um, but yeah, if you want to ask my mom questions, I'm going to do a little Q&A with my mama. A little witchy Christian Q&A with my mama. Which I thought would be nice. But yeah, I, <laughs> my house is a, a goddamn wreck and my mom comes over in like a week and a half and I don't know what I'm going to do. But, like I said, I've just been finding the magical and the mundane, the, the love 
it's been hard to love myself over this, but at the same time, um, I just gotta persevere. I'm a strong, independent woman, <laughs> but I just feel lost 90% of the time. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't feel strong. I don't feel independent. I don't feel much of anything. I'm just, I'm tired. And I just want you to know that I'm okay. Um, there are times where I cry a lot. But I'm thankful that I have my spirituality because I don't think I'd be able to survive this. I commune with Yemaya for peace and for love. And I take time out for myself. But it's still hard. It's still hard. And I don't know if I'm strong enough. I'm going to try, but some days are harder than others, and I just, I'm so tired. I'm just so, so tired. I let this go on for far too long, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm at a loss. Like, even spiritually, it's just... I'm disconnected, but I try, like I said, try to find the magical and the mundane, like uh, the honeysuckle has bloomed crazily in my front yard that it's overlapping on the, the fence, and the flowers are growing, things are getting done, I have to fix my car windows, which is $500 that I ain't got, but I gotta fix them because it's been raining. But yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. And the main thing is that I just wanted to thank all of you for being so supportive and showing your love. And I just, I'm so thankful and grateful to you. So anyway, that's it. That's my little update chat. You guys have a great day. Brightest blessings.